Good morning. Welcome to the DFS Army YouTube channel. I am Razzle 11, and you can find me on X at Razzle 11 Grinds. Going to take a look at some pitching uh, for today. The 2nd of May, uh, just a five game slate during the day, uh, just six games overall on the uh, schedule for MLB. Pretty quick video here. Uh, Kind of a reminder, this is our first look at pitching. Uh, we'll try to get more in-depth as the morning goes on. I'll be looking at DraftKings since that is where the majority of my action is played. To be honest, there isn't much to love on this slate. Uh, going to be a pretty quick video here, but wanted to get this out before I get out the door. At the top, Edward Cabrera. K prop of six and a half. Juice is on the over. He's a minus one sixty two favorite. Game total is just seven and a half. Uh, easily going to be the chalk on this slate. Big time arm has looked a little rough of late. This season debut was phenomenal. Uh, I think he bounces back a little bit here. But, I mean, he's not some lock other than the fact that he gets a, a pretty plus matchup. But numbers point to him, you know, being solid for us. Evaldi, probably the second dairy chalk, a minus 205 favorite. Rocking a K prop of 5.5. Juice is slightly on the under because Washington traditionally hasn't been striking out. Uh, big issue the last couple starts for Evaldi. The walks. I don't really like seeing that. Ground ball rates great. Um, 19 ground balls to just two fly balls in terms of outs over his last two starts, but also 11 walks. Um, you know what that tells me is actually his arm feels really, really good. Um, he's getting just extra movement on everything. And when you get extra movement like that, Obviously, it's tough to control from a walk standpoint, uh, but he's just getting so many ground balls when he does get swings, um, and obviously getting some swings and misses because he does have 14 strikeouts over those two. Um, man, I he might grade out for me slightly better than Cabrera, uh, which is really weird to say, especially on Fanduel. Like Evalde should be the the chalk on Fanduel. Uh, in comparison, but uh, clear cut, you know, two guys at the top, and then we just get a bunch of other guys. Mitchell Parker has looked really good at the major league level. Uh, wasn't overly sharp last time out, but still only allowed one run. <clears throat> you can talk me into playing him, but I generally don't want to pick on Texas in Texas. Uh, issue is they're not exactly scoring a ton of runs right now. His K-prop is just 4.5 with juice on the under. Uh, so it's really tough for me to to want to go there. But on a short slate like this, I can understand going there, to be honest. Kyle Bradish making his season debut against the Yankees, or expected to make his season debut. Um, no K-prop <clears throat> listed for him yet. Uh, the Yankees are a minus-135 favorite. Game total at 9, uh, which is the second highest on this slate. Has looked decent in his rehab. I um, believe he's 77 pitches. Yep. Uh, 77 pitches, 5 innings in his most recent rehab start. He's the guy that really came on last year. Uh, I think there's plenty of K upside in the matchup. Obviously not an ideal matchup with the Yankees this season, but I think there's upside that makes him very viable for us to use on this slate. Uh, <clears throat> Kyle Harrison, somebody that I'm going to use, um, but, man, I, this game has the highest total. Um, his K-prop is 5.5, but game total of 9.5. Boston is a slight home favorite. Things just don't grade out well for Harrison, but I do love the upside. Uh, and on this slate, we do need to include some other guys. So 
I think Harrison's certainly in play for me. Kyle Sordan, I don't know what I want to do here. I don't really want to pick on Baltimore, uh, to be honest. But he's looked pretty good in three out of his last four starts. I'm going to probably want to dig into some of his numbers against Baltimore. Uh, K-Prop of 5.5 with Juice really strongly on the over. And like I mentioned, he is a favorite in the game. Um, so maybe we just have to close our eyes and play him. Um, you know, because down here, I don't really have any interest in anybody. Um, you know, so we do need to have some options. Ben Brown isn't, you know, back to not being really lengthened out. I don't, I don't really know what they're doing with his role. Uh, wasn't overly sharp his last time out either. I just don't think we need to go there. Winkowski's playing more like a half opener, half starter role. Like, I mean, three three to four innings makes it really tough to play him. Uh, Lambert, I don't really think is all that good, but also he's not stretched out either. Um, you know, he, 11 days ago he did go three innings and 66 pitches, but... You know, he could easily just end up going four innings today, and that's it. Um, you know, I guess Hauser, if he's on, but he's looked pretty bad. Um, so I, I think I'd just rather stack the Cubs and, and move on. So we're really only looking at the top guys at this point. Uh, I don't believe we have any weather issues. Uh, I'm going to refresh my weather station on my other screen. I'm not seeing any issues. Wind is blowing out to left in Baltimore. Uh, out to right in Boston as well. So, um, going to be in the 80s in Baltimore today. So, that, <coughs> excuse me, going to make me side a little bit with the offenses in that matchup too. So, but there we have it. There's the first look at pitching. If you enjoy what I bring to you, please hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Turn the notification bell on. Get the alert anytime we drop videos here at DFS Army. If you want to join us, get access to our coaches, tools, sheets, optimizer, Discord, etc. I'll put links in the description below. You can use promo code RAZ, that's R-A-Z, for 10% off monthly. And as always, best of luck, everybody.